White rust, also commonly known as white blister, is a very, very annoying and deadly water mold that grows on brassicas. I'm sure you've seen it before, you might not have known what it is, but this video is dedicated to that. I'm going to give you some tips, tricks, insights, and hopefully help you get rid of it because it's a horrible thing to deal with. So what is white rust or white blister? It is commonly referred to as a fungus, but it is actually a member of the water mold family. It is primarily spore driven. So there are a whole bunch of spores that spread in a range of different ways. They sit on the underside of the leaves and they spread and get bigger and bigger. And as they develop, they form blisters in the leaves which then inevitably <clears throat> is fatal to the plant. It is systemic, meaning it actually forms part of the plant with time. So specifically with brassicas, you're going to end up with the flowers, which are the heads, being deformed completely out of shape. Some will have blistered flowers, um, basically rendering it inedible. And the purpose of doing this video is to show you how to identify it firstly then look at what the treatment options are and um, and then we're going to look at how it's spread so that you know what to look out for and what to do how does white rust spread and how do you get white rust on your plants it's actually pretty simple white rust is spread by air and droplets so that can be via rain, mist, fog, wind, touch, soil, seeds, plants. All of those things can contain white rust spores that when the plant develops, the spores start coming to life and developing and then spread throughout the plant. Unfortunately for me, Cape Town has the perfect environment for white rust. It generally stays above 10 degrees in winter and below 15, which is what it needs to thrive. And lots of wet, rainy days, and we have a lot of dew. We don't have frost, but dew is perfect. It creates constant moisture on the leaves, which then just allows it to thrive and spread. So if you're in a frost area, you shouldn't have issues with white rust. Um, if you're in a, in a more temperate area that has milder winters but wet, you're going to see a lot of this unfortunately. So looking into more detail in how white rust is spread, it's, it can literally be from anything. Um, like I said, the wind can blow the spores in. Uh, soil that you buy from the nursery can contain spores from people who've thrown their the diseased plants into the into compost piles which have gone to the dump and they've made soil from that or there's a range of different ways mist like i said fog all of those things can carry spores when you get seeds get seeds from reputable sources because contaminated seeds also contain spores and it's also very, very easy to get white rust from nursery bought stock. So if you go buy broccoli or cauliflower from the, the garden nursery, there's a chance that it could have it because where it's coming from, there's such huge volumes, the spores can very, very easily travel. And when you buy them, it might not be evident, but as they grow, as they get bigger, those spores will start to come to life and start spreading. So now we're going to look at treatment. What are your treatment options for white rust? Firstly, remove all diseased leaves immediately. And they need to go into a bag, wrapped up, thrown away. You don't want to dispose of them in compost piles. You, if you have to dig it in, you, must, you can dig it into the soil if you're doing no dig. Turn it over, but it has to be underneath so the spores can never really get out to be able to contaminate. Not ideal, but if you can't get rid of it, then that is an option. But immediately remove the leaves like I'm showing you, put them away and make sure they're never seen again. 
Then what we're going to be doing is we're looking at three different options. We're looking at a chemical systemic fungicide. We're looking at a product that is developed specifically to kill spores. And then we're looking at an organic option of a copper fungicide. We've sprayed these three different products on three different sections of brassicas that are infected with it once the leaves have been removed. And we're going to come back after a couple of weeks and see how the plants are doing to see if one works or not. It has generally said that there is no treatment or cure to white rust. So these are the trial and error on three different products. Okay, so we one week into the application of the first round of sprays. If you remember, we used three different ones. I'm going to show you the performance of the three different applications. To not bore you with unnecessary footage, what I'm going to do is follow the same procedure. I'm going to remove all of the currently infected leaves that have white rust on them. And then I'm going to respray each of them with the same application that they got the first round and then we'll check in in another week's time to see how it's going and we're going to continue this for a month and then after the month I'm pretty sure we'll have quite a clear conclusion over what is the best option to treat your white rust on any of your brassicas. Let's take a look and see how they're doing. So let's take a look at the first application which was the chemical application and um, this one is actually not doing very well. If you take a look here, I'm going to be quite gentle. There's white rust. There's white rust all over that one. There's white rust there. If I take you to the second one at the back, it is a little bit better. The older ones have leaves. The older ones have white rust spores on them. So overall, this is so far not very effective. The second application was with Spore Kill, which is a product that is aimed at killing the spores of these kinds of pest diseases. And this one is doing a lot better. If we look at the underside, there are a couple of spots, but generally you'll see the leaves are looking way healthier compared to the first application which was the chemical application. So the second plant sprayed with spore kill, the older leaves have got quite a bit, but not massive. So what we'll have to do here, as with this one, as with the other ones, is we're going to remove all the infected leaves. You can see all the new leaves aren't really infected, um, so we'll respray with the same applications, remove the old infected leaves and hopefully with time, the new ones come out without any white rust. So this is where the biggest surprise has come in. This is the section that was sprayed with copper fungicide. So what we're looking at is incredibly healthy plants. There was white rust throughout all of them. I'm not sure if you remember that one in the corner over there was really, really, really bad. It doesn't have any white rust on it right now. If we look underneath these leaves, there's nothing. There's one or tiny little spore spots over there, but that's on a huge plant like this. And in the corner over there, you can see on the one leaf, there's a little bit. That one has got nothing on it. This one has got nothing. So by far the best performing solution so far has been the organic one, which is the copper. So I'm going to go through the process, like I said, remove those that are infected and just you know, clean up and remove the older the branches. Then respray with the same applications and I'll be back in another week. So we are in week three of tracking the performance of different kinds of treatment options for white rust in brassicas. This is our chemical option. If we look in close 
and we look at the new growth we can't see any spores on this one which we quite aggressively chopped you can see there's not much leaf left but there's a lot of new growth coming out this one the new wish leaves are pretty clean nothing there but if we look at the older leaves you can see there's still quite a bit of it that's quite persistent and won't go away so the chemical option really hasn't been a great option as you can see with the older leaves as well it's it really hasn't treated the plant well at all if we compa compare that to the spore option which just attacks rogue spores the plants look a lot healthier you can immediately see the comparison between these two and these two so here we're looking underneath new growth not much there's two little spots there nothing there nothing there and this one is if we bring you in close starting to form a little head it takes the second one nothing 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 and it's also starting to form a little head so spore kill seems to be working after the third week of application compared to the chemical option let's take a look at the copper option so comparing all three you can see in terms of the health of the plants the copper ones by far outperform the other two and um, the reason being is it has worked so quickly that we haven't had to remove as much leaf as the others so they've been able to grow quicker as a result of that if we have a look in close this is the copper one nothing 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 if we look on the older leaves nothing oldest leaves nothing bring into the other ones nothing nothing and then if you recall that one in the back there was riddled with white rust it had it everywhere and look at that it has got nothing so after week two copper was the winner and i would say after week three copper is even more of a winner because of the absence of white rust altogether and really healthy looking plants you can see they are just absolutely thriving so we'll check in again next week for the final one month update okay so looking at the first two plants these are the two that were sprayed with a chemical spray you can see they actually just don't look great to be honest and um, it also hasn't worked look it's it's back um, this one has it quite bad the new leaves just don't look healthy and on this side this one's really really struggling There's some new growth coming out there but in general there's nothing there nothing on this side so this one doesn't have white rust but i fear that the chemical component of it has really really negatively impacted its growth on the other side we've got the spore kill product which targets the spores this has actually done really well there if you see it still has but there's nothing on that leaf so there's only one leaf that currently has it this one putting out a lot of new growth but at least you can see that new growth is looking healthy compared to this new growth which is just pretty nasty and interestingly enough side by side you can see these have started putting out heads already broccoli and these haven't so there's already quite a big difference i would say the spore kill does work uh, pretty well there's just one spot and if you were to pull i can't remember which leaf it was if you were to pull that leaf off it'd probably be uh, gone completely so spore kill does work and then by far the most successful combination or product is copper why I say it's successful is these leaves, first of all, have 
no white rust whatsoever. Even the old leaves, they've been damaged by a hectic storm that's just come through. But you can see there's no trace of white rust, which is really awesome. However, why this works so much better in my opinion is if you look at the amount of leaves that are left. There's a lot of healthy growth in here because it reacted a lot quicker. We were able to save a lot more of the leaves. And because we could save the leaves, the plant could keep photosynthesizing and is gen generally just way healthier. Thick, beautiful stems. And all of them are looking really good compared to in the corner, those four brassicas, which you can see just don't aren't thriving the same because we've had to take so much of the leaf, leaf away. Phew, okay, so that's four weeks in a nutshell. That was a pretty cool experiment. I, for one, wasn't gonna call copper the winner, but it is the winner by a country mile. You've seen the leafiness and the health in the plant, how there's a complete lack of white rust, and that we also didn't have to remove a lot of leaf. So, copper product works really well. Second is the spore, spore kill which targets the spores. It's worked really well. The only thing it hasn't worked, which thank God it hasn't worked, is the chemical. Another reason to stay away from chemical rubbish. It simply doesn't work. And if it does work, it causes significant damage in the background, as you've seen. This, some of the white rust is gone, but the plant is really, really suffering as a result. I hope you've enjoyed this, this little one month tracking video. Hope you got some value out of it. Like I said, try it on your side, see what works. Um, lots of things can alter results. Give it a go. And if you like this video, please share it with other people that might also be struggling with the same issue. Please subscribe. And if you've got any comments, please drop them below. I'm more than happy to, to give you whatever feedback I can. Thanks for watching, until next time, stay safe.